for a little while has been really eye-opening for me, and, uh, so there is no easy way to do this, um, so I'll just say that you know that I love you, yeah? You know that, but I, uh, I can't do this anymore. How do you begin to let go? What does that even mean? I've come to think of it as my favorite English tense. And I think of you that way too. A complicated tense. Started in the past, still lasting. With no certainty about the future. You aren't around anymore, but you aren't gone either. Present. I've said goodbye to you so many times, and in doing so, I thought I was letting go. And I thought to myself, well, just give you some time, just give you some space, and in no time, you'll be back, right? Perfect. I tried bargaining with the universe, looking for signs that it wasn't hopeless. I prayed to all the gods. I prayed to you. I prayed to myself. Wait another day. Wait another week. Another month. Continuous. Why are you writing this? This is stupid. What the fuck are you doing? Why am I writing? No one cares. No one cares. It's useless. I tried ignoring you, I tried being more interesting, I really, really tried disappearing for some time. distance ripping between us like radiation, invisible yet impactful. And harder than the present we weren't spending together was the future we'd never have. I tried being as cold as you, and indifferent, but it was all still in service of you. Does this ever end? Real letting go is humble. You no longer do it for something in return. Rip it up, rip it up. You realize that part of your life is over and that person doesn't need you. Truly, they don't. They can be happy on their own or even with someone new. Your support is irrelevant.
if I clean the glass enough, would it change who I see inside? Thank God for good friends. Sub Julian. <laughs> and it's that easy. We might be calling you the like, job by any chance. <sighs> I don't know, man. I'm just... I'm sorry you're going through all this. Uh, it is what it is, you know. It's, it's probably pretty silly to think that a bouquet of flowers can actually fix things, you know. So, But hey, I appreciate you. Really. Here. <laughs> really, I do. Hmm. What's that movie where the guy goes, um, I think men are more romantic than women or something like that. Uh, uh, oh, um, Blue Valentine. Yes. Blue Valentine. Great movie, movie, man. Man. Great fucking movie. You know, though, like, as time goes on, I tend to agree with that. What about, uh, men and women? Yeah. Especially nowadays with apps and shit. Dude. Do you know how hard it is to meet a girl? And I mean like organically meet. No, I don't. And dating apps fucking terrify me, man. Really, I I know it's the digital age and it's like super common now, but it just seems really hard. Yeah. Alright, let's say you actually do go on a date, right? Let's say you even get to that point. It's the same places, it's the same people around you. I mean, dude, it's the same people on the app all the time. Dude, that sounds fucking terrible. I get it though, like, we've all been through shit. You know, some of us some really bad shit, but. You know, we're just trying to numb the pain, but the problem is, is while we numb the pain, we might be numbing ourselves to like, experiences, maybe ultimately people that could change us. I don't know, man. I'm I'm scared to go through this shit again. But that's where I think men are more romantic. You know, like, we'll do whatever we can to make it work. We'll tell her, we'll change whatever she wants. We'll do it. Make it work. Stick it out through the rough patches, right? Yeah. I'm not going to settle, though, bro. That's one thing I will not do. I've seen it way, way too often. And just how unhappy people are now, like, no. Nah. I don't know, man, like, you know, maybe I've seen too many, like, rom-coms, but 
you know. We just gotta keep looking. She's out there. I'll drink to that, man. You're right, though, about uh, about not giving up. Uh, I think when you've been walked away from enough times, you really learn how to just meet people with open arms because so often you you've met people with arms closed, you know. And uh, I don't know. Sometimes I think I just feel entirely too much. So. I don't know, man. I don't know how to say this. Um, like, for dude, fuck dating apps and fuck bios, bro. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> Real letting go is not falling into the arms of strangers. Trying to replicate the feeling that you're desirable. Another person's tongue over your body trying to lick the wounds of your heart. Real letting go is protecting your heart. It's staying on your own. It's a lot more reflecting than doing for a while. Real letting go is quiet. It is surrender. You stop the daydream. You stop being so obsessed and anxious all the fucking time. Checking all the social medias and waiting for some breadcrumbs. You become quiet. I've had this conversation with you so many times in my head and it took me a long time to realize that the things I thought I needed, I didn't. Everything I needed had to come from within. I wanted some sort of validation from you in the form of an apology, but that really wouldn't have fixed anything because in a lot of ways, I'm the one to blame. And I hope that when you look back, you don't only see regret. And I forgive you. And I forgive myself. I'm not perfect. Real letting go is loneliness. It's acceptance. Accepting that you really may never feel that way again, for better or worse. Accepting that it all happened. Not erasing the memory like eternal sunshine. No, it's that acknowledgement that this person will forever stay with you. They'll always have that home inside of you. And you're not waiting anymore. But you do allow yourself to remember.
after all. Something so grand and terrible. Wonderful and heartbreaking. Magical and nightmarish. Something like that should be remembered. Because I think it is why we exist. <laughs>